Hi folks, Matt Scudero with the Credit Research Foundation. I hope this finds you, your family, and your colleagues all healthy and safe. This is our April update. What I wanna focus in on today is one specific item, and that is the COVID-19 resource page that we have on our website. On the COVID-19 resource page, there's a tremendous amount of contact that content that is constantly changing. Uh, so I encourage you to stay focused on it and to attend it and look at it on a regular basis. Let me give you an idea of what's out there. First of all, as you have seen, we have a, uh, a number of surveys that have been released and I wanna thank you. Thank you for your participation. The participation in our surveys has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, so if you uh, participate, uh, you'll certainly get that information back. It is a give to get environment. We also have a couple of web links that have been created on value chain, on fiscal monetary policy, on portfolio tactics, on um, CECL, current expected credit loss. These are all uh, documents and videos that have been produced by Dr. Steve Isberg of Towson University, um, and we are extremely appreciative of Steve's efforts. There are a number of other items you should be aware of as well. Um, Credit Safe has given us a dynamic offer to CRF members. Um, it is free to all CRF members. It includes portfolio review, it includes customer monitoring, and it also includes free access into their database for a period of time so you can monitor your customers. Scott Blakely has provided us with a number of documents on terms, pushback, and supplier strategies. I can tell you over the past week or so, this has been the number one question that has come into CRF, uh, and we're extremely appreciative of Scott's uh, delivery on this educational content. Um, F&D Credit Intel has provided an economic and business outlook to us. Aaron Fox is recording a webinar, and it's a link that will be provided out to you on force majeure and contracts. We also have Dun & Bradstreet, who has uh, and will produce for us a post-corona strategies webinar. Again, these are links so you can view them when you want, where you want. Um, Experian will be producing a portfolio management with a focus on small to mid-sized uh, mid businesses uh, webinar for us. Um, the Lowenstein Sandler Group has produced uh, and is producing a uh, webinar on the CARES Act. So what you should know for your business as well as resources that you should know that you can communicate to your customers to help them, in particular, help them get to their next invoice so you can get paid. Um, they're doing a pre-bankruptcy planning session with the indicators all pointing to a number of bankruptcies taking place. What can you do as a credit professional to pre-plan for those events? And also a bankruptcy session on what's new because uh, bankruptcy uh, courts are operating in a new environment, just like you and I working from home. Um, they are also working from home. And so what does that mean for you? So how do you operate in that environment? What changes should you look for? What's happening with creditors committees? What changes are potentially happening with preference payments? So we have a lot of material out there for you. Um, if we can support you in any way, please let us know. We are here to support. In closing, let me conclude with what I started with. Wishing you, your family, and your colleagues all a healthy and safe environment. If we can help in any way, please let us know. Thanks very much.